All right, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, I make a lot of videos on all kinds of different things from bodybuilding, uh, just funny stuff to uh, wrestling to just random shit off the internet. So I don't really have a theme for my channel. I talked about this in one of my last videos. Uh, you know, and that's the way it is. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about Bobby the Brain Heenan, one of the mainstays of professional wrestling uh, in the early stages a professional wrestling before it really broke uh, into what it is now, say in the 90s and that kind of thing. Uh, Bobby the Brain, of course, a lot of you, if you follow wrestling, if you're my age or older, you know who he is. Um, and this is way back in the 60s he got to start uh, in the World Wrestling Association. Uh, of course, he was in the AWA in Minneapolis with the Ganyas. Um, and he was always kind of a heel uh, kind of guy. And whenever, say, the baby face got like Hogan or Somebody like that got their hands on him. The crowd just cheered. He was known as the brain. He was known as the weasel. Um, he's mainly a manager. Uh, he appeared in the ring once in a while, but he managed a lot of the top names uh, from the 80s and 70s. Um, but the thing I want to talk about now is Bobby Heenan ran, ran into some hard times. I mean, he's old now. He's older. Uh, he's like 72. So, I mean, he's an older gentleman, that's for sure. But uh, he's he really, uh, in 2002... Uh, and I don't know how many people actually know this, but uh, 2002, he was uh, diagnosed um, with throat cancer. Now, throat cancer, I've known a lot of people, not a lot, but a few people that had throat cancer, including a relative, my grandfather. And he did not last long after this. So to beat throat cancer is pretty impressive. Now, I'm not saying he necessarily beat it, but he's still alive. It's 2002, it's 2017, that was 15 years ago. So Bobby the Brain Heenan... Uh, is still around doing well of course uh, doctors had to remove his jaw um, a bunch of other things I think his tongue he had tongue cancer uh, after a while as well um, he developed that but and he had a fall where he broke his hip um, so yeah he had throat cancer 2002 and then he battled tongue cancer and a jaw infection in the years since so he's, he made it through all this stuff so uh, you know, that just shows you what a fighter he is. And actually, you know, a lot of people think Heenan was a bad dude in real life, but that's not necessarily the case. I mean, that isn't the case, actually. Uh, he, he's one when, the, when all the wrestlers were leaving the AWA for the WWF back then. Uh, Bobby Heenan was one of the only guys that actually gave the uh, AWA a uh, proper notice that he was leaving instead of just leaving, up and leaving. And I remember that. Uh, so that means a lot. That shows you a lot about Bobby Heenan's character. A lot of people are wishing him well. Um, of course, today, uh, you know, he looks nothing like he did, obviously. But uh, to to make it through what he did, I mean, that's pretty impressive stuff. So I mean, you got to you got to cheer for the guy. I mean, you got to be you got to be happy for the guy, regardless of the quality of his life nowadays. He's still around. Here's a here's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's Bobby Heenan, though. I mean, it doesn't really look like him anymore, but. Uh, to just be around after after what he's been through is pretty impressive.